Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Well, we have opened up the country clinic and in it we have put the doctor, the country doctor, and we have put the country dentist set in it as well. And if you haven't seen either of these videos, I'll put the links down in the description box below. Make sure you check them out, but make sure you come back because today we are opening up the country nurse set and we are going to set this up inside the country clinic. The critters at Cloverleaf Corner and at Sylvania have got so many medical professionals. They are going to be so well cared for. And here we have got the nurse. So the nurse, which comes with this set, it's awesome, it comes with a figure, is a bunny, a beautiful bunny with a little fluffy cotton tail. And she has got her nurse's outfit with pockets to put her important implements in and a little nurse's hat. And it's all held on with Velcro and elastic. So it's super easy for tiny fingers and big fingers too, to be able to put on and off with ease. So this is brilliant. She's just being nudged over here by a wheelchair. Move over, otherwise the wheelchair will knock you over. And the wheelchair is pretty cool because let's let's bend her legs up and pop her in. It's perfect for all those poor injured critters who need to be wheeled. Or, oops, hold on. Now I think I might have been injured. The nurse now. No, she's okay. She's all right. She's back in, back in there. <laughs> now. It also comes with a foot cast, and do you know what? I think that is way too small for an adult foot. Maybe only the children get injured here. Only the, the children break bones in cloverleaf corners and in Sylvania. There's also, once again, children's sized crutches. You know what? I'm gonna need to go and find a child critter. Who have I got here? Let me see. Ah, I have Ralph the Walnut Squirrel, and he is all dressed up in his school outfit, and yeah, look, see, their feet are an enormously different size and it fits him perfectly. So, yes, it looks like the medical equipment here is catering for the children. So I wonder where the adults go when they break bones. Let's just hope they don't break anything. Poor things. That's a bit of a worry, that is. I'm going to just try it. Hold on, let's, let's see. No, nope, I'm not going to force it on any further because it will start taking the flocking off, the little fur on the top. So it's definitely a child size cast there. Well, that's a disappointment, but that's all right. We'll figure out something else for the adults. We've got a lovely hot water bottle to keep their little tootsies warm because it gets very cold in hospitals or in medical places. And this is the nurse's trolley. She can put all of her bits and bobs, all of her medical equipment, including the hot water bottle, which I don't think is strictly <laughs> medical equipment, but it, it is good for comfort. We can put them all on the trolley. So let's see what little pieces we have in here. Got a little, maybe a warming pan or something to put in the sterile things that you need to keep um, st sterile. I don't know. We'll pop that over there. It's got a lid on it and a clipboard for the patient information. We have got some tablets, some capsules, pink ones for this. So maybe the pink ones are cold and flu tablets and the blue ones might be for hay fever. What do you think? I wonder what the different tablets are for, capsules are for. There is a big kidney shaped bowl for putting all those gunky bits that you get out of wounds and, and all the yucky bandages and sticking plasters off to put them in there so it's nice and easy to sterilize, clean out afterwards. What is this? Oh, I know, it's a lid. It's a lid for this bottle, whatever we keep in this bottle. You know, I think this bottle would be really good for uh, cotton balls. I wonder if this set comes with any cotton balls or whether I'll have to make some to go in the little jar. And there's another jar, but I can't see the lid for it. So we'll just put it over here for now. There is a pot and the pot has got a lid. What do we keep in this, do you think? Is it for, <laughs> maybe it's for hospital food. Don't know, maybe the nurse has to deliver the lunches as well. <laughs> I can't decide what to put in those pots. Uh, excellent, some scissors for cutting the bandages and all the, the things that you need to cut as a nurse, or lots of things. A pair of tweezers. Let's see if these work. Come here, nurse rabbit. We'll see if we can get some of those little bits. Yes, there we go. They're gonna be very handy for all of those fine medical procedures that we're going to be performing and a bottle of some form of medicine or syrup, maybe cough syrup. And the one with the green bottle, I think is, I have no idea, what do you think? You tell me what the green lid might be. We also have a syringe for very important injections and a thermometer for checking her temperature or checking the patient's temperature. We check out Nurse Rabbit's temperature. 
She seems to be healthy, which is good because she's in charge of looking after everyone else. And here is a tube of something. And here is another tube of something else. Maybe these are of sterilizing creams and antiseptic creams. Hey, there's the lid for the other bottle. We'll take the scissors out of it now then. There we are, two bottles. Goodness, I'm gonna to have to decide what to put in these. Now, we also have got a plastic bag here of other pieces. Let's see what's in here and what I have to assemble for this. There are no stickers in this set, which is nice, because <laughs> I put on a lot of stickers in the, in the country clinic. Ah, we have a gauze bandage, so maybe this is what we will have to use for the poor old adults if they break any bones. We'll try it out on Nurse Rabbit. Seems to, yep, she can still hop with that on. So it seems to work quite well. Some little gauze patches for putting over sores. And they might have to go into that sterile box. A blankie. Every, every medical area needs a blankie because if Ralph here is sitting in the wheelchair and being wheeled around outside in the garden on a cold wintry day, he needs to be tucked in with the blanket there and do you know what else he needs his feet are gonna get super cold even though his cast appears to have fallen off <laughs> but maybe he's got some other ailment now but he's trying on he is just actually modeling these slippers for us so he looks very fine in his blanket and his slippers and he looks snug except he keeps falling out of the wheelchair so got a trick for this if we pull his tail through the hole at the back there he will stay in that wheelchair and he won't be able to get out it's almost as good as a seatbelt <laughs> Okay, two of these little patient cards. And the patient cards can go on the clipboard. And there we go, so that the nurse knows exactly who she is dealing with, because it gets very busy being a nurse. You have to keep all of their important information on there. And one paper box. Oh, I don't like folding these paper boxes, they're so finicky. But we, there's only one, and it's got cold medicine. Maybe that's what we need to put, that's where we need to keep the tablets, maybe. Let's see. So I'll fold all these little flaps in. There we go. And let's hurry it up because this is a tedious task. There we go. One box of cold medicine. And you know what? I am not opening that again to put those capsules in because that is very, very carefully put together. <laughs> I'm afraid it might fall apart. Okay, let's set the nurse's station up inside the doctor's office. You know what? We might call this a day hospital now. We're going to set it up as a day hospital. So here we have got the hot water bottle and all those things on the bottom, the tablets, the ointments, that sterile pan of some sort where we're putting the gauze patches and the tweezers do not fit in there, so we're not putting them in there. The kidney shaped bowls and the box of cough medicine. This trolley is looking very cluttered now. I hope she'll be able to find everything. The syrups for whatever they're for and the bottles for keeping whatever we're gonna keep in those bottles. It's a shame it didn't come with any cotton balls. Here are the scissors, and I think we just need to fit the clipboard on, and I think we might be done. Now all we need is Nurse Bunny. Where is Nurse Rabbit? Here she is. There we go, you stand by your trolley, because we still have to set up over here. I'm gonna use the bed here from the country clinic as our day hospital bed, and we'll put all of the things that we're gonna need on it, which is probably not very sanitary. <laughs> we should probably tuck them under the bed. But we're gonna tuck the yellow slippers under the bed instead. There, all right. It is time for our first patient and it looks like Sister Hedgehog has broken both of her feet and her head. Holy moly. Oh, Nurse Bunny is now taking her out for a spin in the afternoon sun. Very good to get fresh air when you're in the hospital. And because she's going to be spending the night in here, I think she's going to need a book to read on that bed. And then I think she will be ready to go home in the morning after all of the excellent care that Nurse Bunny will have bestowed on her overnight. I hope you enjoyed our latest Sylvanian Family's Calico Critters instalment. Don't forget to subscribe and click like, leave me a comment, check out our other silly videos, and I'll see you again really soon.